YouTube, so I'm on my way to pick up a, a few Pokemon games from someone off of Craigslist, and they are right down the road here at this gas station, so let's quickly get there, and uh, I'm going to test them out to make sure the battery is safe, and if they do, I'm going to pay 50 bucks. Um, they usually go for about 75 so a little bit more, eh, probably about 80 or 85 to be honest. But, uh, you know, a little bit of cash being made off of this, uh, or at least some good trade bait. Hey, how's it going, man? My bad, I was right down the road. I get, sometimes I get the meats mixed up. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just check them out real quick. Sometimes when these, when they don't save, with these old games, they don't save anymore and never have good batteries. All right, all these are good, man. All right. And there's 50. Good. All right, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. How much for the empty cases? Okay. So just the boxes, but I paid seven dollars total. Sweet. Hey everyone. So the sale that I just left a little while ago, um, man, it was a lot of stuff. I'm hoping I caught the uh, at least the room and kind of what you know I was looking at on uh, on camera. But just to give you a little bit of a backstory. I used to get my discs resurfaced and my batteries replaced from a guy that lived there. What he would do is he would go to the flea market and uh, basically go to all the vendors and basically uh, take out all, or take all of their discs that they wanted resurfaced or their cartridges that they wanted the batteries replaced. So that's where I met him from. And anyways, I've been to his house a couple times, uh, mainly just to get discs resurfaced. And he had an eBay store and he basically just worked from home and like that's the big like garage type room that you saw with the shelving. Um, fast forward till today, uh, I went to a yard sale. It was the only yard sale on Craigslist that was advertising any kind of video games. And when I got there, it was actually snowing. And I live in South Carolina and the fact that it was snowing was <laughs> kind of crazy. But I got there at 7.30, the sale was supposed to start at 8, and um, I waited and waited and waited, nobody came out, and then finally, a little after 8 o'clock, uh, these two boys, probably about 18 years old, came out, and they're like, hey, you know, did you need something? And I'm like, yeah, I don't mean to like be creeping and just kind of hanging out in front of the house, but I was here for the yard sale. Um, has it been canceled? They're like, yeah, we canceled it due to the weather. But what were you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for video games. And they're like, okay, we'll just come on in and take a look. So that's basically, you know, how I got in there. And they're basically selling all of his stuff because he got locked up or, you know, he's not there anymore. Unfortunately, I know some of the stuff that was there when I was there about a year ago was no longer there. I think he had a couple sealed Tron bonds from uh, on the uh, PS1. And unfortunately, those weren't there anymore. But I still uh, still got a pretty good deal, and uh, I'll check it all out and recap everything when we get back to the house. All right, so I just left uh, the hot spot back there. That seems to be the uh, 
the popular meeting place for a lot of Facebook Chrysler deals around this area. Either that or the gas station down the road. Anyways, um, complete, really great condition. Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land. Uh, $25 for both. All right, so we're back at the house and the last couple days have been crazy. And this morning was especially crazy just with all the things that I got. So I wanna start off with the things that I picked up yesterday and uh, the smaller pickup that I did today. And then we'll lead into the larger pickup as well. Um, I'm gonna to try to fly through all of that stuff because it's quite a bit. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you saw was a little clip of me meeting up with this guy in a Craigslist deal. Um, didn't get too much good footage there. Still trying to work out the camera that I'm using. But anyways, I went ahead and I paid this guy $50 a little bit more than I usually pay, but definitely worth it. It's gonna be an easy trade or at least an easy sell to make a small profit. Um, gotta fund this somehow. Anyways, we ended up getting a copy of Pokemon Yellow. Also got Pokemon Red. And lastly, Pokemon Blue. All the batteries saved in those, so it was a great deal for 50 bucks, I believe. Uh, you saw me on my way to meet with this lady with a Facebook deal. I ended up picking up Mario or Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U and Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Both of these were complete and I paid $25 for the pair. Okay, now it's time to move into the really big stuff. So I ended up paying $90 for everything you're about to see for the remainder of the video, and I believe it was a steal of a deal. I already told you a little bit of the backstory, so let's just go ahead and get in there because there's a ton of stuff to show. Got a Indigo Game Boy Advance, no battery cover, but does work pretty good. A Glacier Game Boy Advance, this one has a rechargeable battery cover backing, but just not the rechargeable batteries, but it does have at least something there to cover it up also works great. Also got a Game Boy Advance SP platinum color, works fantastically, and got the battery ch charger to go along with that. All right, so this next thing I'm gonna show you, uh, it's kind of cool, but kind of on the lamer side of everything I picked up, but I still enjoy being able to grab these. So all of these are cases and manuals, just no games, but I feel like why not pick them up they were asking like 25 cents, ended up being less than 25 cents a piece with everything you know included, but I feel it was a great deal. And it's a ton of Pokemon DS cases. Also got a Chrono Trigger over here and a Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS over there. But we have like uh, six uh, Pokemon Diamonds. We have about uh, four Pokemon Black, about five Pokemon or four Pokemon Black 2, five Pokemon Black. Oh, there's another diamond right there, so that's seven. Uh, three, four Pokemon Soul Silver. We have a Pokemon White 2, Pokemon Platinum, three Pokemon White, and two Pokemon Pearl. Um, I just feel like it was a fantastic deal. Everyone's gonna be looking for cases in about five years. Hell, everyone's looking for cases now because GameStop throws them out. Continuing on with the case theme, I ended up getting a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 case for the PS2, unfortunately no manual. Also got the Metroid Prime with the Metroid Prime Echoes bonus disc case, also no manual as well. I'm going to chalk these ones in with case only because it's not a complete game. Well, one is, but it doesn't really count. Alright, so this one is Final Fantasy VIII. It's missing, missing one of the discs, but... Um, I'll, the case is pretty cool itself. Also, this uh, Final Fantasy VII, it's a North American version of Final Fantasy VII, but all of the discs and even the manual inside is the Japanese version. I was also able to grab two Final Fantasy Chronicles. Both of them have the manuals in it. Um, case only. This was a pretty cool pickup. It was Raystorm for the PlayStation. This is actually has the game in it. Just kind of a janky case. Has the game in it, but it is a Japanese version of the game. The next few cases that I have, the first one is Legend of Lagaya. Also has the manual inside. 
This case is for Heart of Darkness. Um, no manual is included in this one. We got Dragon Warrior 7, and the manual is included in this. And I believe this is the last of the case only. We have Mega Man X4 for the PlayStation. Harvest Moon Back to Nature also for the PlayStation. And Resident Evil Director's Cut. I did end up grabbing a few manuals as well. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, Alien Hominid, and this is actually going to go with the one I picked up a couple days ago at a pawn shop that did not have the manual, so this worked out perfectly. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, Mario Party 4, Dot Hat Part 4 Quarantine, pretty good manual to have. Dot Hat Part 2 Mutation, Dot, Dot Hat GU Volume 1, 2, and 3. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. The Warriors for the PlayStation 2. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Another New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Soul Calibur 2 for the PlayStation 2. Def Jam Vendetta, and this one is for the PlayStation 2. Two Mario Kart Wiis. And Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. That's it for all the manuals. I thought that was a fantastic grab, just be able to throw in for some extra stuff. Um, some of those manuals are really great to have, and um, I was definitely able to use at least two or three right off the rip that's going into my collection. All right, so the last thing I wanted to cover real quick before we move on to the home consoles is a sealed N64 Rumble Pack. All right, so for the home consoles, I ended up grabbing an N64 with the controller and hookup cables. This N64 also included the expansion pack, so that was a pretty good added bonus as well. I was also able to grab not one, but two Sega Dreamcasts. Both of them have the power cable and a controller to go with it. One has the RF cable, the other one does not, so I'll just have to locate one of those. But. Not a bad pickup. A few random things included in this. I got two first party PlayStation 1 memory cards and a third party PlayStation 1 memory card, as well as I got a DS Lite charger. Another random thing I picked up, because I didn't pick up the console, was a Platinum GameCube controller because you can never have too many GameCube controllers. One of my favorite pickups in this entire lot, I got the power cable, and the controller, the PlayStation 1 with the screen attachment. And the screen attachment has like a loose hinge. I'll have to figure out how to be able to tighten that up. But the volume works great. The screen works great. It's fantastic. And I'm really glad that I got this included in the entire lot. And I believe this is the last console to cover before we move on to the games. And that is the mini Super Nintendo with the first party hookups and a controller that still has the bag on it from what I'm assuming was originally in the box because the controller is in fantastic condition. All right, so I lied. There's a few other things I wanted to show before we move on to the games and you saw it earlier, um, a small clip of them and I'm really excited to be able to add some of these to my collection. So let's get to it. We have a blue N64 controller box, and the art is uh, pretty cool on this. The front is a little sun faded, um, but the back is not as faded. A Sega Dreamcast box. This has the cardboard inside. Um, the one in my collection did not have the cardboard inside, so I'm definitely glad to be able to pick that up. The box for the N64 Atomic Purple controller set. This seems to be the only N64 box I can get. This is my third one that I've gotten. Um, this also has a uh, Best Buy sticker on it. But um, yeah, it's still in pretty decent shape though. This next box is probably my favorite looking box that I picked up. And that is the Super NES Super Game Boy set. Um, it's in fantastic condition, really shiny. The color and art is fantastic. On the back you have 
Donkey Kong chilling out on his uh, surfboard. You have Wario. Kirby is up here. Um, just really clean, really smooth. And uh, I really want to get these stickers off. I'm going to have to work really careful not to uh, mess up the box. But in this set, you got the Super Game Boy and also a copy of Super Mario All-Stars. Um, this does have the styrofoam and the manuals in it. So I'm uh, super excited to be able to add this to my collection. All right. And the last box that I'm going to go over is the action set box um, for the NES. I have three Super Nintendos, an N64, and three GameCube boxes, plus my PS2 box and Dreamcast box. But one thing you don't see is the NES box. I unfortunately haven't had one until now. Um, this has the styrofoam in it, so I'm really happy to be able to add this to my collection. All right, so moving on to the games very quickly, I'm gonna try to take care of these as fast as I can. There's probably about 50 games just eyeballing it, so let's get started. Final Fantasy 3 for the DS, Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 on the DS, Super Mario 64, Disc Only Soul Calibur 2, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, three copies of Metroid Prime, and the bonus disc for Mario Kart Double Dash. Wario Land 2 for the Game Boy Color. Four copies of Wii Sports. Three copies of Wii Sports Resort. This one's complete. Super Game Boy. Disc only, Darkstalkers, The Night Warriors. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Unfortunately, there is no manual. But it does have the disc. Complete copy of The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Super Mario Galaxy. I'm just kidding. It's actually Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. But for some reason, this is the case it came in. Resident Evil complete for the GameCube. Complete copy of Viewpoint. Long box PlayStation game. A preview disc for Resident Evil 4 has a playable demo, and this is for the GameCube. Probably going to be adding this cool one to my collection. The disc actually looks like that. No collection is complete without a copy of Vegas Stakes. Most of them are sealed, or at least complete in box. Snake Rattle and Roll, also complete in box. Spyro, Enter the Dragon. Ease, Book 1 and 2, playable on the Turbo Duo. Time Stalkers for the Sega Dreamcast. A sealed copy of Top Shop for the PlayStation. Two disc only copies of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for the PlayStation. Two disc only copies of Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. A copy of Final Fantasy VIII. Two complete copies, black label, of Final Fantasy VII. Spawn for the Sega Dreamcast. Disc only, obviously. Disc only Super Mario Strikers Charge for the Wii. This is a disc and manual, um, has no case, but disc and manual for Alundra 2. Disc and manual for Crash Bash. Disc and manual for Darkstone. And disc and manual for Marvel Super Heroes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the home stretch. We have a few more to go. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Def Jam Fight for New York. Mario Party 4, Mario Party 6, Super Mario Sunshine, and last but not least, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Wow, so that was uh, quite a bit for uh, my pickups this weekend. Leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite thing I picked up in this video is. Also, let me know what your favorite thing you picked up this week is. Make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all later. Peace.